Now, one thing we need to know is that what we're looking at here is we're looking at the sum of measures of exterior angles of convex polygons. Okay, this rule does not apply to concave polygons. And once again, we saw a video on this, so this is probably already somewhere in your notes. Concave means there's one vertex that's been pushed inwards. It makes a little, like I said in the other video, I think of the word cave because you have this little opening, this little cave that's been uh, pushed into the shape. So this rule that we're talking about only applies to convex polygons. And so it turns out that one way to think about it is like this. If you take a look at this polygon on the screen, you ignore all the pencils. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if I counted that right thing. It's 10 sided, so a decagon. And notice how they've already marked the exterior angles. They went counterclockwise, extended the line this way, extended the line this way. And think of yourself putting a pencil over the line and then going around the shape. Well, notice how that pencil makes a single turn all the way around. So if I start here, it turns all the way around the shape. And let me show that to you in this, uh, in this next slide. All right, so to better explain that, uh, that description, let's model it once again in real life. Here's uh, a pentagon, which I've already drawn in the exterior angles. And so if I take a pencil and I, I line it up along one of the sides, and then I start moving that pencil so that it lines up with the next side, then the next one, then the next one, and then the next one, and then back again. Notice all my pencil's really done is it's gone around 360 degrees. So basically we're saying that if I start with this angle, plus this angle, plus this one, plus this one, and then back again, that all those angles put together add up to 360 degrees. All right, so that's for our pentagon here, but what about a different shape? This shape has seven sides. But notice how the explanation is the same. If I say, start it up here and I line it up with this top side here, and then I add this angle, plus this one, plus this one, plus this one, this one, and these last two, and I end up back where I started from, that all I've done is I've rotated my pencil 360 degrees. And so that means that all these exterior angles added up equal 360 despite the fact that there's more angles here than up here. It just means that these must be larger angles since there's only five of them to add up to 360 degrees, whereas these have more angles, but they're smaller, so they still only add up to 360 degrees. So bottom line is it doesn't matter what the shape is, any convex polygon, the exterior angles will always equal 360 degrees. Now, another way to think about it, and I've always loved this visual, is if you think about your shapes, here's a triangle, a pentagon, a hexagon, and look how the exterior angles are marked. If you make this triangle smaller and smaller and smaller until it's infinitesimally small and basically disappears, notice that the three angles add up to 360 degrees. So just like we saw in the last example, that no matter what the shape is, that the exterior angles always add up to 360. Take a look at our pentagon here. Here's a pentagon. Notice how those exterior angles aren't changing. It's just the, the pentagon's getting smaller, but the angle itself doesn't change. And it adds up to 360. Here's our hexagon, same thing. If you focus on one of the angles, notice how it pushes inwards towards the shape, but the angle itself doesn't change. This line isn't turning anywhere, nor are any of the other lines. They're all just kind of going towards the center and equaling 360. All right, so because of this, it always turns out that the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of any convex polygon, and again, only convex, always adds up to 360. So it doesn't matter if it's got 10 sides, 200 sides, 3 sides, those angles always add up to 360 degrees.